Hey guys, this is Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. There is something that needs to be said. There's a new Time Magazine article that just came out that shows a new cure for chronic illnesses. Now, when I say new, I don't mean completely new because we've heard this before many times and times again that eating right and exercising is good for longevity. But what they found was exercise does many different things in your body. So let's get to it from the beginning. So what they did with mice is they took mice that were gonna die, premature, die prematurely from a genetic disposition. They took half them, they had, half of them had a sedentary lifestyle and the other half had uh, a more active lifestyle where they were running on the, uh, the um, spinner for three times a week and they tested how they did uh, performance wise and they found out the, the mice that were sedentary, the first group, were actually showing signs that they were dying and they were hiding in the corner, shivering like they were gonna die. Uh, gray, gray, gray hair, all frazzled up. And they looked at the mice that were exercising and they saw that those mice were exactly normal. They looked like every other healthy mice that wasn't prematurely aging. So it showed that exercise in mice, of course, helped uh, them prolong from genetic disorders and keep their cells alive for longer and stay healthy. So what they've been doing test now, and NIH, the National Institute of Health, has just passed 200 million, I think, or 120 million uh, for the next six years to run an experiment for 3,000 participants from uh, adolescents to elderly to uh, test what, how they are with certain exercises, how they are if there's a controlled group with a, a sedentary lifestyle. And over the next year, uh, six years, they're going to be testing the blood, the uh, fat tissue, the muscle tissue before and after exercise. And so we're hopefully going to find the proper molecules that are going on in our body with exercise that makes it so beneficial for our brain and our body and our metabolism and everything like that. So that is pretty freaking amazing. Pretty flipping amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So... Some things that you can do to prolong your life is to exercise and you don't have to go to a gym to do these kind of things. You can do uh, rigorous gardening. If you're raking and shoveling, that is something. Or you could just be cleaning your house a lot. A normal active activities will get you going. It's because 20% of America is not moving at all. They're just getting up out of bed, going to work in their car, driving in their car, sitting at a desk, typing, doing, just sitting down, getting in the car, going back home, sitting on the couch, watching TV, imbibing maybe, sitting on, uh, going back to bed, laying down, and repeating that. Or, or if they're going out to dinner or whatever they're doing, they're always sitting down. So what we need is a call to action to move more. And so what I invite you to do is to walk more, maybe walk, few minutes after you eat to burn off that extra sugar. Maybe go bicycle when it's nice outside or if it's not nice outside, go on a elliptical or you could even just go for a nice run that costs nothing. You could just run. And for strength training, you could do yoga, you could do Tai Chi or you can buy some cheap weights and just lift those. What they found with the elderly is that to increase their bone density, that they, what they did is they gave them light weights with high repetitions to strengthen their muscles and increase their bone density. So no matter what age you are right now, you should be exercising and you should be keeping active. So that's my message to you and I thought that was very important and needed to be said. So check out the Time Magazine article if you get the chance. I think you need a, a subscription for it. It's uh, $3 a month. It's fascinating. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode and stay beautiful.